So we have our first round of pie crust out of the refrigerator. Brooks is gonna show us how to make a savory pie. No, we're not gonna make a pie. We're gonna make crostata. Oh, a crostata. Oh, so excellent. very free form, very like Italian grandma style. I so, like that because then I can make more mistakes. Oh yeah, yeah. The mistakes actually create the joy. So. Oh, I'm a fan of your pastry program at Del Posto because as someone who does have uh, quite a few dietary limitations. It's like the best thing you ever ate and you feel really special. We'll always make sure that if someone has any sort of restrictions like that, that we give them something special, almost specialer. It's, it is, it feels is like you are the most special person at the table. Not only does it make their experience better, but it yes. makes the rest of the table experience better yes. too because everyone's like, wow, like they get that. Like, wow. I, I kind of want I that. I want that. Me. And then everyone's so. picking out your stuff. Right. Christina, have you eaten at Del Posto? I have. Okay. And did you fake any food allergies while you were there? I wish I would have known <laughs> to fake food allergies. It's like the, <laughs> now it's like the underground thing. What? It's, like, it's yeah. like off the menu. <laughs> Okay, can I see how thin this is? Yeah. Oh, what do you okay. think? Thinner? Yeah, no, no. Thinner? Good. good. Just You're much sure better at rolling out dough than I am. I'm actually totally like... out of practice, too. Oh, <laughs> God, show off. She goes totally too, out so. of practice. <laughs> I want to channel the, uh, the Nona, probably doesn't have a knife hanging around. She's just going to tear it. So okay. That's what I'm going to yes. do. The filling I made, I totally ripped this off another line in the kitchen. I knew it. And it's um, basically a Swiss chard and chickpea ragu. Okay. Um, but it's really, really delicious. And it's, it's what we like to call at the restaurant pretty hammered. Okay. So it's basically just cooked down almost into submission. Okay, um, so that's what hammered means. Yeah. We've sweated down some onions and garlic. What does sweating down mean? Just cooked really, really slow and low. Okay. With a little bit of chili flake and some salt. And then, so that's a layer of sweetness first. Okay. And then with olive oil, of course, obviously. And then we, um, we've added the stems in just until they're tender. And then mm -hmm. you add the rest of the leaves. Yeah, the leaves. And then you just want to cook it down and down and down. Okay. Hammer. We want to hammer it. Um, hammer but it's going it. to release a lot of liquid. When most of the liquid is gone, then you know you're just about finished. And then add a can of uh, just regular canned chickpeas. Spread on a cookie sheet and let it cool completely. We don't want to put hot stuff in the dough and then put it in the oven. It's going to be weird. So all we're going to do is just is pile it in. And you don't have to worry about being too perfect with this. And then we're just going to kind of fold it over. Um, uh, I really just think of like my grandmother. And then we've left a little bit open here. That part might burn and get black. But then, out of nowhere, Christina's like, I made a crumble to put on top of it. We made a um, sort of like this crunch with ground down, gluten-free rice cereal. And yeah. you just put in the Cuisinart? Yeah. Okay. It goes in with some black and white sesame seeds sugar and salt, got it. it Toss together until it feels spread hard enough. It's like a streusel or something. Yeah, it's the same It's the same approach to like a streusel. Um, and then it just goes on a, a baking sheet and I think the trick to this is slow and low. Okay. So like 250, 300 in your oven for 10 to 20 minutes just until you get um, real crunchies in it. That's that, so I feel like it's gonna, it's gonna protect your Swiss shards. I would just put it on just enough to cover you can almost sort of like pack it in. So are we gonna put this on a yep. sheet tray? I wanna do like 350 or so. Okay. And um, so I'm gonna put it on the bottom and try to get that extra heat. Okay, so we have your thing out of the oven. Oh, we're calling it a crostata. Okay, so what do we do now? But we're gonna make another sauce to kind of go along with it. We're okay. gonna put a drizzle on top. I got some dairy-free yogurt. Okay. And then I'm just gonna season it really simply with salt, um, some freshly ground black pepper. Okay lemon, really nice extra virgin olive oil until it almost turns pale green. Ooh. Cut it down the center, you know, in a wedge, dollop. I feel like the cool thing about this is you get something different in every bite. Mm. And the crunchy topping is really... No, that's like perfect. It totally brings it all together. Yeah, let's put one more. <laughs> I'm not going to do like a little sliver mm. like you did. I was like, what the hell is that? Thank you. So let's see what's up with your pie. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs>